So what are your impressions so far? Have you, done, have you done any reminiscing at all with your dad over the fact that you're here in the place where he was such a legend for so long? Man, I came back here Sunday just, just to, you know, sightsee. And I've been having deja vu. I haven't been here since I was like 12. I came back in 2017 for a bowl game, but we were staying in Amelia Island, which is pretty far from the city. But it's just been a blessing. I'm just so ecstatic to be here. I, I thank Coach Peterson for just giving me the opportunity and all the coaches just allowed me to come out here. Um, it's just a beautiful place and a beautiful time for me, and I'm just enjoying it. I've been receiving endless love from all the Jacksonville fans. It's just been a blessing. I, I can't really explain to y'all or have the words that really explain how I feel. The whole situation has just been beautiful to me. Does it make family. it even more special that you're doing it on the field here at the bank? I mean, your dad's name right here in the Pride of Jaguars, right. like by, right behind us. Right, right. It's, it's just a real feeling. Like, we had season tickets where we come out. I, I was the first seat right next to the tunnel. So, like, when I came out that tunnel as a player, it was just so much emotion. I didn't cry nothing, but, you know, <laughs> you know, I was just so just so excited, so ecstatic. And uh, I can't thank Coach Peterson and all the coaches in the city of Jacksonville enough for giving me a chance to do this. Are your memories of when you played pretty vivid? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I remember you very well as, okay. as a child. <laughs> so did you, did you come out and look at that yesterday? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I came out here in 2017, took okay. a picture in yeah, front yeah. of it, and then I came out here for the first practice, and I was like, wow, this is just, just you know, I'm just so blessed. So, so did you mention him? Hey, your dad? Sometimes? What was that? Are you guys even know? Oh, um, I'm trying to keep it on the down low. I'm not, you know, <laughs> trying, I'm not rah rah, but, you know, the, the head trainer just found out that he was my dad today. I told him my name was Jimmy. So he was like, is, is he really your dad? He's like, yeah. So he was like, wow. But, um, yeah, it, it's just, you know, I'm just excited to be here. I love it. What does dad think? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, he's just been asking me, you know, how practices have been going, you know, how, how, how it feels, and, you know, just giving me advice along the way. And uh, he's been a helpful instrument in my development and my mom as well and family. What have you thought of your performance the past couple days? Uh, you know, I'm my performance, I'm just trying to get better every day. You know, I'm just it, taking it all in, le learning from all the coaches, and, you know, it's just playing football in a special way. What exactly has the staff told you as far as what they want to see from, the, from you this weekend? Uh, just, you know, come out here and play football. You know, be yourself, uh, you know, 100% grind, give it your all, empty the tank. So, you know, that's, that's what I'm out here to do, and I'm, you know, trying to make the best of it. So did they fix the locker, or does it still yeah, stay Yeah, yeah, they, they fixed it uh, yesterday, actually. So I came back, and I took another picture just, just for the heck of it. So, you know, I thank the equipment staff for, you know, doing that so quickly so I can get my picture. But, uh, yeah, this is, yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah, you're a little older than most trial guys, so it's been an interesting journey for you getting here, right? Yeah, yes, for sure, for sure. Uh, one person that sticks out, I remember Brandon Whedon, the quarterback, got drafted at 28, so uh, it's been a lot of situations like that, and, you know, you just come in and so you can play and, you know, come in willing to learn and listen, and, you know, you may end up in a situation that will make you happy. So what have you been doing the last couple of years, I guess? Where have you live? are you living and... and you know, well, the past couple years, I've still been in college. Uh, Are you still I, yeah, at I had, Wyoming? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. I got two more classes until I have my master's in American Studies. So, uh, yeah, I've I just been uh, in school working. I, I've been off the past two semesters because I pretty much took all the classes I could take. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just... I'm just here now, so I, I don't know when I'm leaving yet, so I'm, I, I think I want to stay here as long as I can. How many pro right. days did you go through? Uh, just one, just okay, one just pro just day. One, yeah, just get the one. Wyoming. Mm -hmm. okay. You obviously have a unique perspective on Chad Mumo. Mm -hmm. What do you think of his style of play and what does it bring to Jacksonville? Chad, Chad's my guy, wonderful, wonderful person. He's an extreme leader. Like, he, as, as, as soon as day one, you know, you know he's the guy that's going to lead you to the promised land. I have nothing but great things to say about Chad. I saw him every day, worked out across from him. I'm trying to match his energy. He's over there, bench pressing more than anybody in the gym, even the strength coaches squatting. So, you know, it, it was good to be able to reflect that energy, you know, off of him. Can you confirm whether Chad, uh, whether his smile ever leaves his face? Have you, have you seen him, you know, not? No, he's, he's a positive guy. You know, he, he's never negative. You know, he, he, he comes to practice with a chip on his shoulder, and he's always ready to get better. Jack Jacksonville should, should be really happy to have a guy like that. Who called you about the tryout? How did that come about? Uh, it was Coach Marcus Pollard. Okay. Yes, sir. He oh. called me, and, uh, yeah, it was just a quick little, you know, come on down, just, we'll, we'll take a look at you. And, you know, I just started preparing right there and came down Sunday. Here we are.